Hey everyone, this is Snark with Snark's Domain. Today we're going to do a quick video. Uh, it's actually a public safety announcement regarding TG NSP80. It's a thermal putty made by T Global. Uh, I previously thought that it was uh, electrically isolating. Uh, it turns out that's not the case. A viewer of the one of my last videos commented saying that they had tried it on a 3080 Ti and it shorted out their uh, possibly a capacitor on the back plate. So. Um, they believe that was the cause of the issue, that they used the putty. They contacted T-Global and they got a reply back uh, basically apologizing and saying that they would um, fix that information on the data sheet so that it doesn't happen to, to other people. So I just wanted to pass this information along to you guys, but I'm going to show you the old data sheet and the new one. Uh, so on, on the left here, we've got the old version. Uh, it's version 1.171219. What I take that to mean is probably the 17th day of December of 2019. And uh, basically, yeah, it's got the stats there, but it doesn't say anything about uh, non-electrically isolating. On the right side, we've got the new one, and this is version uh, 3.2020.06.19. So they've actually updated this in 2020 but it hasn't been uh, dispersed everywhere for some reason but uh, I've got it highlighted here it does say non electrically isolating so had I seen that when I purchased it well I wouldn't have purchased it I would have moved on to a different putty um, for testing so it's just unfortunate uh, actually I've just figured out that both of these data sheets are still visible online uh, obviously the new one should be but the old one, if you go to T Global's site themselves and click on data sheet after you've searched it, it actually brings up the old one still. So they're going to have to fix that um, hopefully fairly quickly. That's the version that I uh, was looking at when I decided to purchase it. I figured, hey, I'll go straight to the source and uh, the information that they provided me should be more up to date than uh, DigiKey. And I didn't even. Uh, look at the DigiKey data sheet, which which is a link to the most up to date one. So, anyways, I just want to get this video out there um, so that you guys don't buy this stuff. Uh, I'm out. I don't know, 120, 130 bucks, whatever, uh, from buying some for testing, and yeah, it's going to be useless for me now. So, um, but yeah, I just wanted to prevent anyone else from going through this headache. And it's really unfortunate that at least one video card uh, has been damaged. I hope it hasn't been bricked permanently. You'll have to comment below to let me know uh, whatever happened to your video card there. So anyways, that's it for this video. Um, yeah, I'll catch you guys on the next one.